Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be making uh, this earthquake uh, scene, uh, something like uh, the movie 2012 uh, where you have the kind of the world uh, splitting. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you want to watch uh, the time-lapse version of this, uh, which is usually more detailed uh, than, than these uh, step-by-step -step tutorials because I never want the, to make them too long so I have to skip over some things, you can just go to my second channel, Blender Money and uh, you, sh you can see the time lapse is uh, there. You'll see everything, how I set up everything from materials and everything. Yeah, but uh, anyways, uh, this is what we're going to be making. And uh, without wasting any time, let's get into uh, the project. So open up a new Blender project. Uh, the first thing we're going to be making is this earth movement. Uh, so let's uh, add a plane. Make sure this is recording correctly. Add a plain scale it up, and uh, we're going to subdivide this a few times. Okay. I think that that will be enough. Now let me turn on random colors here so that I can see different objects easily. And uh, we're going to add uh, our crack uh, this year, where the earth is splitting. And I think to make this uh, this a bit more interesting, I'm just going to create a different kind of uh, crack. So you just use your knife cutter, your knife tool. You can use the shortcut K to get the tool, and then draw the crack you want. After you draw it, you just hit V. It will be selected, and you hit V to separate that. I'm not sure you don't move uh, the the crack anywhere. Just right click to reset the movement. Uh, it will have split the area, but uh, right clicking it will let it uh, be in the same position as it was. So if I select any of these faces on this side and hit L, you can see that uh, this portion is separate from uh, this portion. Uh, just to make this a little bit different, I'm also going to add another crack around here. So let me first hide this side. Just want to make this a little bit different so oh, draw another portion like this and uh, again separate this using V so we have three different I'll call them plates uh, like that now if I now after you do that just unhide and uh, then extrude everything down like this uh, you shouldn't see the cracks uh, right away so it should be like this and then you can select everything then hit P to separate by those parts uh, this will separate everything into its own uh, mesh or object, as you can see. Uh, but uh, we need to reset the origin so that each object has its own individual origin in its uh, center of gravity or center of mass. So right click, origin, origin to geometry. You can see now each object has its own origin. Now we are going to animate uh, this separating. So what I'm going to do is uh, select all the th three pieces, turn on uh, keyframe recording, hit grab or move it, just select everything, hit G uh, to add a keyframe and then you can move it around frame 20 and start separating these objects. So I'll move this, this piece on the x-axis maybe to that distance and maybe this to that distance. Let's say we have this remaining piece. Uh, now, if you want, we can add in some camera movement so that we can make this a little bit interesting. And also, it gives you uh, framing where you want every part to be. So, let me also split this so that I can view uh, the shader editor. I'm just going to unmade this camera. Let me first reset it and then. It's a bit fast, so I'll scale this up, and I think the animation for this is also too fast, so I'll scale that up as well. Great. 
Now, what we're going to do is uh, start sculpting. Let me first hide these layers. You can see that the, the, the crack. Let me first hide also. Okay, so you can see that the crack sets when it's kind of like that flat. Then it starts bending as the earth deforms. So that also helps in uh, adding some details to the to the top layer. You can see breaking up the top layer in different areas when you deform uh, the surface. Otherwise, if it stays flat, it won't look that realistic, and uh, uh, the top layer will not break up uh, the way this is breaking up. You can see around these edges here, this side here, how that is breaking up. So for that, we're going to be using the sculpt tool uh, to sculpt uh, the surface and uh, also add some shape keys uh, to kind of deform uh, the layer as it's, mo as it's moving. So let me first hide the other layers and uh, start working on this. Let me first also shade it smooth and uh, go into your, key your object data and then uh, shape keys. Add a first, the first shape key. This is going to be your base or origin, original shape. Uh, also make sure that you have some vertices or subdivisions in this area uh, because we want to sculpt this area. So now turn on another keyframe. That is going to be your deforming keyframe. And now we can go to sculpt mode and start sculpting. So if you try sculpting, uh, when you have shape keys, you won't see any change. Uh, so if you want to see changes to this uh, shape key, you need to turn on these two uh, settings here. So now if you sculpt, you can see we're sculpting this side. But uh, we're also sculpting this side as well because we have mirror turned on. So I'll turn that off. And uh, if you're using Blender 2.8, uh, the earlier versions, uh, you won't have these settings here. You will have them up here. So you can find uh, the symmetry or mirror options are down here. So if you don't have them up here. Uh, so let's go back to sculpting and that's kind of smooth uh, this edge here so if you hold down shift you can see you can smoothen uh, this and uh, you can also start use control to draw control while dragging uh, to draw uh, to kind of pull the surface up like that you just want to make this surface a little bit uneven see all the scalp brushes uh, this side so if you want to use them you can you can spend as much time you want to spend here but I think this is enough and uh, if you go out of scout mode and uh, go back to the keyframes to the shape keys you can see I just need to switch off these two uh, to be able to animate these this deformation and, uh, and then I'll time it so I can add a keyframe at around there and uh, want it to be deformed by this end. So you can see this is what we have. So I'm also going to do it for this side as well. So you just again, shift H, need subdivision this side, shade smooth, add two shape keys, make sure you have this turned on, and then go to sculpt mode, make a quick sculpt, first smooth and uh, this side here, then start drawing in. Also, make sure that uh, the top is also uneven. Let me increase uh, the radius and the size because I want it. No, no, no. This is too much. like that again turn of these so that you can animate the value here and then just go back we just need one extra piece here again turn on subdivisions here uh, shade smooth shape keys sculpt smoothen the 
the edges here. Okay, make sure that uh, these are turned on to be able to sculpt uh, in, in shape keys. With shape keys turned on, again, make this area uneven. Increase the strength just a bit. think that will be all so let me unhide again turn that off so that you can animate this value as well okay so uh, we want to animate at around 50 we want uh, the deformation to be taking place so I uh, can again animate select this turn on keyframe then frame 50 give this a value of one, make sure you have a keyframe for that and uh, give this a value of one as well. Have a keyframe, should start at a deformation of zero. Uh, do the same for this side, I think. Yeah, you can see what we have. Let me change my camera focal length uh, to 25 so that I can see more of the scene and maybe let me also push it up a bit. Angle it, angle the camera a bit. You can see. Now, to add uh, this, the, the top layer, uh, this layer here, I'm just going to add a plane. I know I don't want to keep this story too long, so I think we can start there from the next in the next part, uh, doing this second layer. But uh, before we do that, let me just add this group this into their own layer. So I'll call this ground layer. And uh, in the next part, we'll start working on the top layer. So thank you for watching.